Greetings, I am Dr. S. Monish Balaji. Today, we will be starting a series of videos on the brief overview of vascular histopathology. As part 1, we will be looking into the normal microanatomy of the arteries. So, this slide demonstrates the basics of the histology of any blood vessel. All blood vessels have three layers or coats. Tunica adventitia, the outermost coat, is composed of fibroelastic connective tissue. Tunica media or the middle coat is composed of smooth muscle and connective tissue. Tunica intima or the innermost coat is composed of lining endothelium which is simple squamous epithelium and subendothelial connective tissue. This image shows the three coats along with the internal elastic membrane which lies between the tunica intima and the tunica media and the external elastic membrane which lies between the tunica media and the tunica adventitia. So, histologically, blood vessels are classified into five types arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules and veins. Arteries are further classified into elastic and muscular arteries. Capillaries are classified into continuous, fenestrated and sinusoidal types and veins are classified into medium sized and large veins. So, what is the difference between elastic arteries and muscular arteries? Elastic arteries are also called large or conducting arteries, while muscular arteries are also called medium sized or distributing arteries. An example for an elastic artery is the iota, while an example for the muscular artery is the radial artery or any branch of the external carotid artery. The function of the elastic arteries is to conduct blood from the heart, while that of the muscular artery is to distribute the blood to various parts of the body. The wall thickness lumen diameter is 1 by 10 in elastic arteries and is 1 by 4 in muscular arteries. The functional correlate of the structure of elastic arteries is that the presence of elastic fibers in the walls allows expansion during systole and recoil during diastole, thus maintaining the blood pressure and even flow through the arterial channels. The presence of smooth muscle in the wall of the muscular artery in turn helps control the pressure and flow of blood through the mechanisms of vasoconstriction and vasodilation. Histologically, the tunica media is made up of predominantly elastic fibers in elastic arteries, while it is made up of predominantly smooth muscle cells in the case of muscular arteries. The internal elastic lamina is not well developed in the elastic arteries, while it is prominent in the muscular arteries. So, there are two images here. The one on the left is a cross section through an elastic artery stained with dusosin fustian stain to demonstrate the elastic material. Now, the two things we are able to see here is the presence of multiple wavy lamellae like structures, which are actually the elastic fibers in the wall, in the tunica media of the wall of the elastic arteries. Also, we are not able to see the internal elastic membrane very clearly. Now, to go to the image on the right, this image, this image is a cross section through a muscular artery stained with the usual hematoxyl eosin stain. Now here we are able to see a very well developed, a very prominent internal elastic membrane dividing the tunica intima from the tunica media. The tunica media in addition also contains multiple nuclei which are actually the nuclei of the smooth muscle cells. So this is a schematic diagram showing the elastic and muscular arteries and the arterioles. Now, we will be talking about the arterioles in another video. Thank you. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, like and share for more such videos.